Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. The SNP, it can be claimed, and indeed not even claimed, I'm going to suggest it is absolutely the case, have embarked on a series of policies designed specifically to increase homelessness. There's no two ways about it. Now, we will explore this in the piece, and we will go through the reasons, but I think... Um, as we go through this piece, and, and I and I give you my my reasoning behind it, because it cannot it cannot be incidental or accidental. It's got to be deliberate. They are deliberately engendering politics and policies that are there to ensure that homelessness is increased, so that they can increase poverty and misery, and dehumanise huge sections of the population. This is a playbook straight out of uh, the National Socialists in the 1930s. There, they targeted one particular group. Um, this, this lot aren't targeting anyone. They just want a similar thing. They just want to dehumanize on a mass scale. Uh, and if you if you come through me with this, uh, this, this uh, article, and I'll explain my rationale behind it. Uh, and I think you'll see that these people are utterly evil, if this is the case. And we, we will follow each of the, uh, the plots that I think that they've done over the years to arrive at this point where there are record homeless people. But uh, we'll have a look at this. Do please hit the subscribe button uh, and hit the like button because it really does help the channel and it gets the truth out here. And once again, I'm going to be revealing the truth about the SNP. Here goes. So Edinburgh Council warns SNP over homeless funds after city cases soar. Uh, and there's uh, some poor bugger with his dog um, looking to get the money for a, for a hostel for the night. Now, why do I say that it is a deliberate policy? Well, we will come to it s slowly over time because what they've done is introduced policies over the 16 years of SNP rule that have had the cumulative effect of creating this massive problem. Uh, so SNP ministers have been urged to confirm funding for a vital programme in Edinburgh next year after the capital's homelessness convener issued a warning over the uncertainty of the project continuing. The appeal comes after Edinburgh saw a 30% rise in the number of homeless households from 2022-23 under statistics revealed by the Scottish Government this week. Uh, chances are it's probably a freedom of information request. It's not the sort of thing they're likely to let out, um, you know, without a fight. Uh, last year in Edinburgh, a total of 3,815 homeless assessments were completed, more than in the previous three years. And council officials said the figure represents a return to pre-COVID levels, following a significant reduction during 21, uh, 2021. Uh, well, probably with half of them actually carking it, you know. Um, as of March 31st, 2023, there were 5,952 homelessness cases where Edinburgh City Council had a duty to secure settled housing, a 12% increase from 2022 when there were 5,315. So a 12% increase in a single year. Now this next line is where I'm going to start with doing it. The capital city has also seen a rising number of people housed in temporary accommodation. Now I'm just going to break from this because I'm going to give you um, a little brief history of why I think we're in this position. For years the SNP has decided that um, homelessness um, was not important to them. And indeed, for them, they then embarked on a whole series of policies designed specifically to increase homelessness. It's the only explanation. They will have understood the, the, the consequences of their actions. They will have been explained to them at every stage, and yet they've proceeded. Uh, and one of the things they did right early on when they came to power was to hand more power to planning officers. This gave planning officers more power to reject. Within a year of the SNP government taking uh, power 16 years ago, new builds in Scotland had fallen by about 14%. It's never recovered. Builders were so controlled by planning officers, it made it very hard for builders to do new builds. Um, whole new things were changed. The way that you build this had changed. You have to have this had changed. They wanted density increased. It, they wanted no, um, what, what, they, uh, what they call curtilage. 
um, and that is that area of land around a house. They wanted that cut minimally. And that's so that council officials could basically walk up to your door and look through your window and still be on public land. They didn't have to come onto your property to look through your windows. All councils are trying to do this now because it li they like to be able to be nosy and hide and let us see in to your property because they don't like people having privacy. They limit the amount of um, fencing you can have. They limit the amount of height of edges and things. They want it all open plan so that they can monitor you and that you're not allowed to hide things. That's the way they went. And that's what the SNP did. And that slowed down building. And so all of a sudden, bang, there is automatically a shortage of housing because nobody is building to the sufficient levels. On top of that, you take in years of constant chipping away at those most evil people in the eyes of the SNP, landlords, private landlords, people who owned houses and were happy to rent those houses out. And the SNP don't like that. And so they made life hard and more difficult and there was different things you have to pass. And now they've got licensing coming in and this, that and the other. And they have, they say you can't uh, rent out a house unless it passes a certain energy efficiency. And they've chipped away at landlords to such an extent that thousands of landlords are leaving. At the moment, it's thousands every month. But it's tens of thousands over the years uh, have got out. And those are, those are houses that people who could never get a mortgage could get uh, a rental property or people who were uh, on housing benefit could get and rent and have their rents paid and get them off the streets, particularly families. And the SNP deliberately targeted landlords and have deliberately and been told that doing this would reduce the amount of properties and continued with this. And so they've, their deliberate policy, again, a second deliberate policy, reduce um, the amount of uh, rental properties available, hit landlords hard, take landlords out of the equation and make sure that there are far, far fewer rental properties available than what are actually needed. That is also a deliberate policy. And now you have the latest wheeze where they're even getting rid of short term lets. Short term lets where in an emergency they can get a short term let and put a family or someone into a short term let while they uh, work out and try and get a long term solution to that particular problem of homelessness but of course now of in just edinburgh alone the 12,000 short-term let availability now has to be licensed and so far out of those 12,000 we covered this yesterday only 90 are licensed and so that's 12 effectively 12,000 short-term lets coming off the market that would have been available for families in an emergency to get some kind of home put a roof over the head again a deliberate policy, the outcomes of which, the consequences of which will have been explained to the SNP. And again, they chose to ignore it. There is a saying that once is happenstance, twice is coincidence, three times is enemy action. And I think with those three cases, we see that the SNP are the enemy of the people. They are deliberately through policies designed to increase homelessness. And when you get someone who's homeless, it dehumanizes them. It makes it very hard for them to function as human beings, to get a job, to do anything. And that is a deliberate policy by the SNP. And you have to ask why? Why are they doing it? Now, obviously it's the sort of policies that were done in the thirties in Germany, by the National Socialists, and yet the National, the Scottish National Socialist Party seem to think it's a better idea, and they, they're going to push it and you know and increase this. Now, of course, in the 30s, they were aiming at one particular group, um, and it seems also that this lot are aimed at one particular group because it seems strange that immigrants somehow can always be found somewhere to live, whereas the indigenous white Scots aren't. One only has to look at the figures. Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? And so people need to start asking questions. Why is the SNP doing this? Why are they not helping people? Why are they making the problem worse? And why are they doing it deliberately? Is it evil? I think probably is. Uh, anyway, 
on March the 31st, 2023, we'll just round this off. On March the 21st, uh, 31st, 2023, 1,440 households, that included children, were in temporary accommodation. More than double the number from the same date in 2019. And from the 1st of October, of course, that temporary accommodation will cease to be there because they won't have the, uh, the license available. They'll have to throw these people out to close down these things because they, they're, not, they're unlicensed. So where are these 1,440 families going? A total of 2,755 children were in temporary accommodation in March the 31st, 2023 in Edinburgh. 2,755 children in Edinburgh alone. Looking that come the 1st of October, they're likely to be thrown onto the street because the temporary accommodation, the short-term letting, does not have the licence and they've got, by law, to close. What are the SNP going to be doing? How are they helping? Concerns have been raised that the Scottish Government is yet to confirm whether funding for the City Council's rapid rehousing transition plan will be handed over for the next financial year. They are not guaranteeing it because they haven't got the money. Because they've wanked money away on independence-based ventures. We know this. And this, of course, is why the Red Baron is up in arms and he's fighting. Uh, and we support him. Um, the, strat the, the policy aims to prevent homelessness in the first place, ensuring that where temporary accommodation is required, it will meet the standards of the household. And the strategy focuses on supporting people to access settled accommodation as quickly as possible and reduce the number of people sleeping rough. And that's what they claim and that's what they say, but their actions say other words. Uh, and I'm gonna, not going to bother with this. This is just sort of saying that uh, they received this money and it's gone through and that the council are committed to meeting its targets. Well, they can hardly be committed to meet the targets if they're about to close down 12,000 short-term lets and are continuing to drive uh, landlords, social landlords, out of business. Not social, pro private landlords out of business. And they're not building. They're not building to the rate that's required. But that's the SNP causing misery and poverty wherever they go. I'm coming up. It is undoubtedly the direction of travel. It is undoubtedly deliberate. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. They will have been told. They will have seen the figures. They will have seen that this is the consequence of their actions. And yet still, they choose to do it. They choose to dehumanise people. They're just absolute filth, aren't they? They're absolute filth. They sit up there in their ivory towers and they claim, look at us, look at us. We want independence. Scotland will be a better place than independence. Well, Scotland's got the SNP and has had it for 16 years. Is it better? It's not. It's far, far worse. I'll stop now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen here on the channel, do please hit that subscribe button and really do hit the subscribe button. We need to keep pushing the truth. The SNP hate the truth. We need to make that truth go far and wide. People need to see exactly what is going on. And this case in point is one of them. A policy designed to dehumanise people. Till next time, stay safe, stay well. And for heaven's sake, don't ever trust the SNP. They're all complete bastards. Thank you.